Yes, it is so very special to be a part of the Disney family and for them to ask me to play Cinderella again. It's just been so surreal and so magical at the same time. I will never kneel to a tyrant. I'm a mom now and I'm married and I have this beautiful palace and you know, whereas the first one you saw me um, being mistreated and um, teased and so it's a little bit more on the positive side where I am in my life at Cinderella. What did you say your name was? Cinderella. Cinderella. Rose on you, I guess. I have so many memories with Whitney, with Paolo, with the cast, just how historic it was. It was it was a multicolored cast. It was just so beautiful. And I just remember feeling like, wow, my dreams are coming true right before my eyes and I'm only 17 years old. There is a reunion with Paolo and I'm just so excited for him. I'm excited for us. And we just never missed a beat. It seemed like we had been in touch for all of these years and the chemistry has never left and it's just, it's been amazing. We both have said it doesn't feel like any time has passed. No, it's like being around family. Mm -hmm. um, and we came up with the perfect word, surreal. surreal. <laughs> it really is surreal. <laughs> surreal. Surreal. This whole experience, yeah. just seeing her again. Because time has not, time does not pass when I look at Brandon. Oh, neither, True. neither does it when I look at you. Yeah. I just think he's a lovely man and he's just been so great and he's magical, enchanting even. And I'm just so happy that we get a chance to do this together. <laughs> Calm down, you're all acting like you've never seen a coup before. All my childhood uh, dreams came true, you know, seeing them in real life, I thought, wow, it is real. Um, I love it. I love that they had the original cast really come back. It just brings a sense of uh, warmth to the film. I love that. I'm Queen Cinderella now, and he's King Charming, and we have a lovely daughter, Chloe Charming, that's the captain of Swords and Shields team, and she's gonna go to art on prep, and we're so excited for her, and we're just very supportive parents, and loving our, our dynamic is all about love. I'm Chloe Charming. She is this perfectionist daughter of Prince Charming and Cinderella, who is Brandy and Paolo. They're incredible people. They were so fun to work with. I grew up watching Cinderella from her, and, and I think in my heart she's always been the perfect Cinderella, and now seeing her embody this character again, and seeing her get to try on her outfit for the first time, or seeing her meet Paolo for the first time again, I'm just fangirling over being able to witness such a magical moment for her. Are you the sweet invention of a lover's dream? Or are you really as wonderful as you seem? My first order of business will be making sure all the kingdoms are welcome, even Wonderland. <laughs> no. Uma is actually being promoted to principal of Oridon Prep. So, good luck to everybody. Because clearly she's going to be the type of leader to shake everything up and turn everything on its head. But at her event, to where it's like welcoming day, and she's stepping into this new position, that's really when everything goes wrong. And I'm not trying to tell, say too much, but the Queen of Hearts kind of loses it a little bit. And that's, it's really how the story kicks off. Off with her head! Without giving too much away, the Queen of Arts and I have a past that's very interesting. And that's what the movie is about. You go back and see where they are and what, what, what happened in their past and where they are now. And we're not in the best place, but you see what happens and what takes place and how it all unfolds. But I knew her in the past and I know things about her and it's interesting. Bridget, it's your royal highness now. This is my first time sort of playing a role like this. I'm having so much fun. I love being the queen of hearts. Um, I'd like to naturally think I'm an incredibly nice person, but here in this specific character, I tend to wave a bit from being a little bit mean. 
So right now we're actually at a very intense point for the Queen of Hearts because she's finally facing Cinderella and she's finally facing and seeing everything. All these secrets are coming out and it's a big, big moment for her. So she has to be very strong, but you see her break down a few times at the same time. It's been such a joy acting with her. She's so great and, you know, coming from the music world, we met in the past and it's been great to reconnect with her. She's been so great in the role. I think people are gonna be very, very surprised at how great she is. I was obsessed with seeing Brandy on the call sheet every day being Cinderella. That was my childhood, growing up, seeing Brandy as Cinderella and Whitney Houston. I mean, that was a moment in time for me. And um, of course, being a fan of her music, I couldn't believe that I was working alongside her, honestly. It was such an incredible excitement. I just had to do it, just obviously because it's Brandy. We've actually talked about doing music together, so hopefully that can happen because she has a beautiful voice and I think our voices together would be amazing. Actually, funnily enough, she's given me some incredible advice for a specific singing moment in the film. And I always ask her, hey, what would you do? And uh, being a huge fan, she'd give me a little snippet and I'd be like, ah! But, um, you know, for me, she's one of my favorite vocalists of all time. So it's a big deal for me. You're acting like you've never seen a coup before. This is crazy. Someday you'll thank me. The queen likes to win. The queen is very, very, very obsessed with winning this specific task. It means a lot to her, her childhood, her, her reputation, and also, funnily enough, protecting her daughter, which in the long run, you'll see how that works out. I am playing Red. She is the teenage daughter of the Queen of Hearts. She's very rebellious, a bit of a troublemaker, and hey, she gets herself in and out of a lot of trouble. The musical numbers are big, extravagant, including my opening number in the film, which is called Seeing Red, and it really gives you this look into who Red is, and it really establishes her as this troublemaker. She's rebellious. But she also has a strong idea of who she is, and she's very opinionated, and I think that that's, um, that she's gonna be a really cool role model for you know a bunch of people watching this film to see this strong female lead. I have been waiting years to be invited back. You said that Oridon is the worst. With my daughter there, it might not always be. We're so different, and we're two girls from complete different worlds, but yeah. we learn to work together, and we learn to kind of like admire the things that make us different. And we yeah. kind of bring out different sides in each other. For sure, and it's so funny because I've known Kylie through social media for around a year now, and we've been like, oh, I need to see you. We need to like meet at some point. And yeah. um, when I did my first audition, I saw her on the phone for the first time, and it was a big, <gasps> Oh my gosh, this feels real. This feels like it could actually happen. And here we are. Red and bluey. Here we are. Red and bluey. I always say that the minute I did my chemistry read with Malia, I knew it was her. I knew Aww. from the beginning. It was love so at first cutesy. sight. Very true.